let me first express our deepest condolences for those who have been sacrificed in terrorist attacks in Afghanistan, including the recent suicide attack targeting the vehicle of the UK Embassy. These attacks remind us that an unstable security situation in Afghanistan takes a high toll on both the people of Afghanistan and the international community. In no circumstance can any act of terrorism be justified and will never yield to such despicable terrorism. We renew our commitment to support the effort of the government and people of Afghanistan striving towards the stability of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate on Afghanistan's first democratic political transition and the induction of Dr. Ashraf Ghani as a president and Dr. Abdullah Abdullah as a chief executive officer. From the viewpoint of stability and the security of Afghanistan, I expect that the appointment of cabinet members will take place without further delay. After a decade of political and economic turmoil, Afghanistan made a big step towards achievement of self-reliance. In the past 13 years, there has been a significant progress in economic, social, and humanitarian aspect. Building upon such success, the trans transition from the ISAF to the Resolute Support Mission will take place at the end of this year. This means that the government of Afghanistan will assume a greater responsibility towards its people. I would like to also to draw your attention to the great importance of the reconciliation with anti-government insurgents in restoring stability and security of Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud of to mention that Japan hosted in the Tokyo Conference on Afghanistan in July 2012 and played a leading role in establishing the Tokyo Mutual Accountability Framework for the realization of Afghanistan's self-reliance. In the past two years, Afghanistan and the international community have been following up on the mutual commitment specified in the team-up. But there have been not been adequate results. The new government of Afghanistan needs to get fully on its feet as soon as possible and make full-fledged efforts to implement reforms under the strong leadership. In this context, I'd like to commend Afghanistan's reform program entitled Realizing Self-Reliance, which sets forth active measures towards drastic reforms. If reform agenda are successfully implemented and the new leadership of the new government, Japan is ready to provide assistance at the member of the international community in accordance with the team up. Among new government's reform program, fighting corruption is of the paramount importance. Pervasive corruption is undermining confidence in the government, and it is acting as an obstacle to a self-reliant development. We expect that the new government will work on eradication of corruption and self-reliant development in order to restore people's confidence and promote reconciliation. Furthermore, we expect that the new government will make further efforts towards the economic and fiscal sustainability, as well as the improvement of the situation surrounding women and children. Ladies and gentlemen, Japan has been providing assistance equivalent to approximately 5.4 billion US dollars since 2001. Out of the commitment, that we have made at the Tokyo conference, which is up to about 3 billion US dollars of assistance in about five years. We have already dispersed more than 2.1 billion US dollars since 2012. Japan has been supporting Afghanistan development, <laughs> focusing on the agriculture sector, infrastructure development, and human resource development. Agriculture has the biggest potential for job creation and its recovery and development will contribute to the reduction of the poverty and the realization of a self-reliant economy. I am pleased to note that the Japan has recently decided to support 
the project for improving control of foot and mouth disease and other transboundary animal diseases. This project is implemented by the FAO worth 90 million US dollars and is expected to contribute not only to the promotion of agriculture in Afghanistan, but also to the expansion of regional cooperation. Japan also attaches high importance to the improvement of security, which is a precondition for engagement by the international community. Japan has been assisting Afghanistan in enhancing its security capacity, focusing on supporting salaries of national police through the Law and Order Trust Fund for Afghanistan. Last but not least, Japan's support for Afghanistan's effort towards self-reliant development and reforms is the realization of the policy of proactive contribution to peace based on the principle of international cooperation, which the government of Japan currently promotes. Let me reassure you that Japan will spare no effort to cooperate so that through Afghans' own efforts and assistance from international community, Afghanistan and the regional countries achieve prosperity together and bring the transformation decade to a success. Thank you so much for your kind attention.